Making predictions. What is the best possible prediction of how many times you will not pick an orange marble out of a bag? If after each of the 45 times, the marble is returned to the bag. Okay. So what that's saying is, suppose you pick a marble 45 times. Um, they want you to know, you pick a marble 45 times, about how many times do you expect to pick this white marble? Not an orange. You will not pick an orange marble. Okay, well, this white marble makes one out of nine of the marbles. Now this isn't a, you know this isn't necessarily going to happen every time right? this is actually a really subtle point but each time you pick one of these marbles you're going to have a one in nine chance of it being white. So the way you can think about it is that every nine times you'll on average pick one white marble. So every 45 times you can basically multiply one ninth by 45 to get the number of times you'll probably pick a white marble, right? So that's just going to be 45 divided by 9, which is 5, right? So the theme here is you're going to take a probability of an event, and you're going to multiply it by the number of times that event happens if they're independent. And, um, well, I have to be careful. I mean, yeah, if each independent, well, Forget that I said that. Just take the probability of the one ninth, right, and multiply it by the number of times this happens, right? So 45 divided by nine is five. Five times. You select a marble without looking and then put it back. If you do it this six times, what is the best prediction possible for the number of times you will not pick a yellow marble? Okay, so let's go again. So what are the not yellow marbles? It's actually hard to see here, but one, two, three, not yellow. Three divided by nine are the odds of not picking a yellow one time. So that's one out of three. But then you do it six times, right? So each time you have a third chance. So you do one third times six, and that will give you two. You select a marble without looking and then put it back. If you do this 12 times, what is the best possible prediction for the number of times you will not pick a blue marble? Okay, so what's the number of times you will not pick a blue marble? So one, two, three, four. Four out of, there's three rows of four, so four out of 12. So that's gonna be one third. So each time you have a one third chance. One third times 12. is four, it's 12 divided by three. So 12 divided by three is four. If you spin the spinner 12 times, what is the best possible prediction for the number of times you will land on red? Okay. So how many of them are red? Two. There are 12 numbers in the spinner, so each time you have a two and 12 chance. I won't even simplify, because we're gonna multiply this by 12. right, because that's the number of times. So you'll end up with two. So really the underlying formula here is, there's a binomial distribution here in each one of these, blah, blah, blah. So what's happening is you have an NP, you have the probability of the event happening, and then you have N is the number of times in all, right, so NP. So here the N is six, and the P, what is the best possible prediction for the number of times uh, it will land on white? So the, the P is the probability of white. So that's four out of eight, or one half. So six to six times one half or six divided by two is three times. Right? So we have six times four out of eight. So three times. 
What is the best? So we're seeing the pattern. What is the best prediction you can make of how many times a spinner will not land on green if it is spun 16 times? So the 16 is this n. Not land on green is 2 out of 8, or 1 divided by 4. So you're going to multiply 16 times 1 fourth, or 16 divided by 4, which is 4 times. What is the best prediction you can make of how many times a spinner will not land on blue if it is spun 36 times? Okay, so NP. Your P is not blue, which is very rare. It's 1 out of 12. One number out of 12. And your N is 36. So your 36 times 1 12th is 3, or 36 divided by 12 is 3. If you spin the spinner nine times, what is the best prediction possible for the number of times it will not land on red? Not red is three out of, how many are there in all? One through nine, so nine. N is nine. So nine times three out of nine, let's not even simplify, is three. What is the best prediction you can make of how many times a spinner will not land on white if it is spun 30 times? So not white is 2 out of 12. And it's going to be spun 30 times. So it's going to be 30 times 2 out of 12, which is just 1 over 6. So it's 30 divided by 6, which is 5. And what is the best prediction you can make on how many times a spinner will not land on green if it's spun 12 times? So not green is 3 out of 9, 12 times. So you have 12 times 3 out of 9 is 1 out of 3. So it's 12 divided by 3 is 4. Okay, so you know, you can't use the formula NP everywhere. In fact, the best thing you can take away from this lesson is look at those problems and see what they have in common and realize there's a very structured framework for which that formula makes sense. If you repeat something over and over again and it has the same probability each time, then the number of times you can expect it to show up is N times P. All right, hope that makes sense, and I will see you next time.